Hey everybody, Brandon Yeager here from TheInfopreneur.tv and it's always awesome when you're able to learn from other people and that's what this video is all about. Uh, recently, David Seitman Garland, first thank you David for the uh, shout out there on your website the other day. He recently uh, put a couple case studies up on his website about folks who are setting up some video based interview shows. And as somebody who's always looking to learn from others, I decided to take a peek at what some of his other peeps were doing. And that's what this video is all about. I'm going to take you through three of them that really caught my eye. And I'm going to talk about what I like and how I'm going to utilize their inputs to help me change up my site here for the future. Okay, so first we are over here at the rise to the top .com. And right down here is where David started listing some of the folks who were setting up interview based shows. And right here is where I was fortunate enough to uh, have a mention on his show. So thanks again, David. Now let's go ahead and take a look at some of the ones. Now, uh, everybody's doing a great job, but there were three that in particular they caught my eye. And I wanted to take a closer look at each one of them. And maybe you're able to uh, learn some things as well. Before I do that, I want to show you right now. This is my current landing page that I am uh, using for the Infopreneur. It's basically uh, just a simple landing page where I talk about uh, getting awesome interviews for free and I have them subscribe to get access to the inside or down at the bottom. They are also able to click to go right to the main site. And once they click, what it does is it takes them over to my website. Now, after seeing what some of these other folks are doing with their shows, I am hating this very bad and I think I'm wasting a lot of uh, real estate and cluttering it up and let's go ahead and let's switch over here the first site that I want to take a look at is Mark Evans site at degree31.com okay we're over at degree31.com and the first thing that I want to do is I want to click on the start here button just to take us back to the beginning and I absolutely love that he has a uh, video right here and it's a very nice clean website it's very uh, user friendly there's not a lot going on on the front page here and he has a very nice hey thanks for stopping by I'm Mark Evans I'm the founder and the host of the NASCAR web show on degree31.com now he also has a, a place here for his interviews but what I really like is if you click his about page and David also had mentioned about doing something very similar to this recently, talking about mission statements and really defining what your show is all about. What I want you to notice here, though, is the amount of effort that Mark's using to create really fan engagement, just like he says right here, and to make it a community-based website for people. If you look through here, everything that Mark's doing is about engaging with people, building his tribe, and creating a group of raving people who are all interested in the same exact thing. Actually, here he even talks about it, highly engaged fans of the Degree 31 tribe. And I also like, let me back up here a little bit, where he has a little call out, a call to action to follow him. And then down here he has a little interesting tidbit where the name Degree31.com came up. Uh, Excellent, excellent job, Mark. I could talk about your site here for several more minutes, but I'm going to go ahead and switch over to some of the other ones that I wanted to talk about. Next is SuccessfulWomenTalk.com, and this site is hosted by Sheila Butler. And what I really like, again, is I like the very simple Successful Women Talk uh, logo that Sheila has employed up here, and I also like the simple tagline. She has done a remarkable job of being very steady and consistent with getting her interview guests posted onto the show. And she's going to do really well with this. She's lined up a lot of great folks uh, who her interviews, who her interview guests are. She's done a great job getting really good people. And I'm positive Sheila's going to be a, a big success here with her show. And the last one that I want to briefly show you here is Dave Hilton's website. He is the Financial Conflict Coach, and you can go to financialconflictcoach.com and visit Dave's website. Now, 
let's go ahead and take a look at this again very simple layout and if I go click on the home page you'll notice this image right down here Dave does a really good job of getting your emotions running and raging wild by having a fist holding a wad of cash it worked for me and I'm sure it'll work for a lot of other people too next I really like that his logo financial conflict coach the the financial the way that it's written in like the monetary type script that's awesome and what I really liked here is I was looking through Dave's website if you click on the coaching options this hi there you. I'm Dave Hilton the financial conflict coach and welcome to my coaching options page as you can see okay sorry about that it was uh, having a little bit of trouble pausing it's it's set up for an autoplay but Dave has one of the most remarkable radio type voices that I've ever heard in my entire life uh, it, it's absolutely awesome to listen to him speak but I really like the way that uh, both he and Mark are utilizing video to connect with their people right off the bat so that those are some of the biggest takeaways that I uh, had from their sites as well as I really like uh, David's favicon as well as Mark's and uh, Sheila's is uh, good as well but I kinda like how David and Mark's favicons pop right out at you on the screen so I hope you enjoyed this video and hopefully you're able to maybe take some of these uh, items from some of these other people's websites and figure out how you could possibly incorporate them into your website to make it pop, make it a little easier to navigate, and make it a more interesting show. Thanks.